What's up, y'all? It's W, and I'm back with another gameplay video. This one's actually against Young Journey. This is the DC leaderboard. We're all grinding to get those top two spots. I'm currently sitting number one on the leaderboard. We're about five days to play. So because the leaderboards are so intense, we're going to play a lot of great players, have a lot of great gameplay against the best man players in the world. And this is just one matchup. A great game I played against Young Journey, who's one of the best defensive players I play all year. He's really unique. He switches up his coverages, switches up his offense, defense. He's really different and, you know, really smart. So the first play, we just run the base, then PA post, just to, you know, basic, easy plays, you know, to get a feel for what he wants to do. You know, he runs dollar. He's run dollar for a long time. You know, most people will sit in dollar and they'll just run DB fire all day and just rely on, you know, the, the pressure of that. But Journey really mixes up his coverages really well. And, you know, he... he Makes it difficult on an offensive player. And we go Deshaun Jackson that came up with a catch for me. Well, just continue to run PA polls. That time I went and tried to hit him with a streak thinking he'd get cute and put Cloud Flash instead of a deep blue. We did. I scrambled with Alex Smith. Now, Alex Smith, I felt Alex Smith was a little too slow. You see here, he tried to get away, but that 75 speed didn't cut. I got a fourth and nine out of field goal range because DC kickers can't kick that far. So we go we're looking for Kelsey to come up with a big play. Tried to sneak a low ball to him, but he dropped the tough catch in traffic. And that's all right, we move on. Stop, getting stopped on the first drive is terrible, but you know, we gotta get over that and play a little bit of defense. He goes again, typical playmaker hitch. Over a hit stick, them boom, he's playing on balance. You're gonna fumble if you play on balance. That's one reason I play on conservative. I can't live with a fumble like that. That was a nice little game for him, but he wound up fumbling. Here we go, get the ball back, get a chance to get, get our points back that we left on the table earlier. We got playmakers drag up, hit him on the sideline, boom. Nice way to hold on to the ball, Terrell Pryor, base Terrell Pryor there, getting hit stick. And we go get him, we gonna do a little corner strike. Ha, ah, Richard Sherman just, just, he locked up that in route. Most yellow zones will play it for a little bit and let it walk by, but Richard Sherman, he got down that yellow zone and covered, that's why he put Richard Sherman there. You know, you want your 91 zone guys there? <laughs> He picked me off right there. It was a terrible interception. So I got stopped twice now. We got to overcome that. He goes going for a bomb. I was upset with Earl Thomas here. I had him in free safety. I feel like he, he looked too far to the left and allowed that streak to go over his head. Here we go again. Nice little baby hitch. And he hits the post route to the tight end. That's a nice play for Junior. First time I've seen that set up for that play. And, you know, I think he runs it again later in the game. And here we go. Shazier got to make a play on that. Vert hook on the corner route. Shazier not only didn't make a play, but he allowed him to catch it. Here he goes again, high balls me in the end zone. So he stopped me twice, he got seven. I'm in a tough spot, but it's all right. Earl Thomas tried to get busy on the kickoff. So we need to get points on this drive. We can't We can't have another. We had two drives without points, that's terrible. So we'll start it off slow, basic, hit the tight end on the flat. And here we go again. This time he actually played really good defense. He manned up my A route. You know, and then lurked the flat himself. It was really good defense. There you see Alex Smith. He got enough wheels to get you out of trouble from time to time. And here we go, Richard Sherman. That time he went and played my drag, but then jumped and picked off the post route. So that's another advantage of having Richard Sherman because he's tall. He can play short stuff, and he can also jump high and get the post. So Richard Sherman's picked me off twice. Three drives with zero points. That's bad. But here you go, Dream. Looking for the out route. I saw it coming. Picked it off with Dayon Buchanan fast enough to be the linebacker and get out there. Right here, I got a score on it. I didn't think, I think he got Andrew Luck. I didn't think he'd be able to catch me, but good dive by him. That's a big play because he sacks me on the next play. So I'm in trouble now. I'm in the red zone. Got a third and long. And we got Alex Smith once again. I'm going to take off with him. Mobility is key for me. I really want a mobile quarterback. And Alex Smith is like the least mobile I'll take. As you can see here, these, these are uh, 10, 15 yard gains with a faster quarterback. I get by Alex Smith. That's a big play. That guarantees that I will have the ball ass, even though Ezekiel Elliott wants to cough it up, but one of my fat guys falls on it. Thank God for that. You know, you need your fat guys to hustle too, man. They get paid, they got to make plays for you. You know, right now I just ran it twice just to get out of half, not giving the ball back. Played really conservative there because I had three drives with no points. I had to guarantee points there. I'm cool with 7 3 at halftime. You know, here he goes to get a first play out of the half. Hits a baby hits. You see, he fumbled on balance, but he also makes a big play on balance. That's the gift and the curse of balance. You can juke, you can spin, but then you also might fumble. So, here you see both, you know, a double edged sword with that. You know, but it worked out for him there, so now we're down by 11 points. That's tough. But we gotta go ahead. This this is a big drive. I need seven here. I can't settle for anything less. We go Terrell Pryor holding on the ball. Terrell Pryor with a couple big catches this game. 
I like the big body receiver with some decent speed. Here we go getting Deshaun Jackson. We're looking for him deep. Ah, Deshaun Jackson don't hold on to it. But here we go. Get a couple yards here. Hit my man Kelsey. I mean, Kelsey had a decent game for me. But we have a bunch of catches. Here we go. Deshaun Jackson again. And he drops another one. Deshaun Jackson letting me down on his drive. Not coming up with a big catch around here. You know, I got a fourth and six here. I'm going to step up here when he rushes two. I'm going to go ahead. We hit Kelsey on the other side. Nice play. Way to find him. He was like my last read, but I came back and found him. And we want Kelsey again. Kelsey, make a big catch for me. They've been dropping him all day. He makes it. So let's go right back in the game, 14 to 10. You got to play a little bit of defense. That's all. We get a sack here from Daniel Hunter, one of my favorite cards in the game with his speed, block shed, and power move. He's really, I love Daniel Hunter. Here we're getting great coverage here, but he gets somebody on the sideline, playmaker up. Those really back breaking plays there when you have great coverage and your, your D line doesn't want to eat. So after, after a play like that, I automatically blitz everybody. Great tackle there by Trumaine Johnson making a tackle on the out route. That could have been a touchdown, honestly, with the way he can juke and spin. Once again, another great tackle on the outside. That's A.J. Boye. And here we go. We're going to send the heat and sack him right there. That's Dayon Buchanan. Got a pick and a couple sacks. Once again, you see who's getting to the quarterback, Danielle Hunter. Fast. Once he gets off the block, you can't get away from him. So we got 30-19. We're going to send the dogs. Hopefully, ah, we get to him again. Dayon Buchanan with another sack. Two sacks in the pick for Buchanan. We get the ball back. Plenty of time. Touchdown gives me the lead. Feeling good on a basic PA post. Oh, man. And I get sacked. Demar Lawrence had Kelsey blocking him there. That's not the ideal matchup. He Kelsey the ball there. Third and 13. He sends everybody at me. Sacks me. Great defense. Got to go for it. Fourth and 18. If I have time for my smart rider stuff to get down the field. I do, but I should put a streak in the deep blue actually plays it. That's Bouye. 91 zone will play. We'll play the corner route. Good defense by him. I got to hold him to three here to keep myself in the game. Goes underneath. And also time is a factor now too. You know, so third and four, I switch it up. I go a little two-man under with some cloud zones. Able to go ahead, you know, get the get the sack there. That's Julius Peppers. So I hold him to three. Seven point game, all three timeouts. I feel great. I've been here before a thousand times. You know, I'll, I'll take this situation all the time. Have confidence in yourself to be able to go down and get a touchdown. And we're going to start basic. Alex Smith, once again, getting jiggy with Alex Smith. Like I said, that's 15, 20 yards if that's Randall Cunningham or Cam Newton. But I live with Alex Smith. We hit the flat. Kelsey, want, Kelsey wants to eat because he's eating. He wants to go home. Big play there by Kelsey. Go ahead. He sends again. Great defense. Plays short. Blitz everybody. Sack him again. Got a second and 14. Hit him with a sneaky dot here. Running back. Streak out of the backfield to Ezekiel Elliott. Got to save a couple sneaky dots in your pocket every once in a while when you need one in the game. This is the fourth quarter. He's already seen all of our main dots I want to throw. So you got to hold one in the back pocket just, just for certain situations like that. So now we got 43 seconds. Two timeouts. So time, time is becoming a little bit of an issue. And I keep scrambling with Alex Smith. Because when he rushes, there's only three people, and I'm blocking the crib. It's hard to pass. And here I let the clock run because I know I can run corner strike. I'm going to run corner strike right here. Hit one of the flat routes. I'm going to corner route or a flat route and get out of bounds. That way I stop the clock doing that way rather than use my timeout. I hit Kelsey over here, step out of bounds. 22 seconds, two timeouts. Time is definitely a factor right now. It's really something I got to pay attention to. Scrambling with Alex Smith, you know, might not be worth it, but we'll see. We, we got, we still got a bunch of plays here. First play only rushes three, and what do I do? Take off with Alex Smith. So I sacrificed my timeout for four yards, which, which and when I look back on this, is really not it because hard to score down here from the 18-yard line. One timeout, 16 seconds. This is a tough spot. So I go ahead. I'm going to call Buck Sale here. Hopefully try to hit this post route or this C route. Get me, a, get me maybe to the five-yard line where I can get some throws into the end zone. That's that's the idea right here. But when we snap the ball, we see cover three. We see my streak just open. Deshaun Jackson dropped two big passes early in the game. Comes up with a touchdown. They're setting the game into overtime. Win the coin toss. We get the ball first. Earl Thomas makes some magic for me, baby, because we need it. Uh, come here. Uh, let's go. Earl, break another one for me. The, oh, my gosh. This close to ending it. This close. So now we got to go back to the against Journey's defense. He's been kind of locking me up all game. That's a nice dot. Quick dot. Boom. Down the field. Get a nice 20 yards right off the bat. Get the team going. Get them feeling good about themselves. Here we go again. He keeps that yellow zone. Sherman, he can't cover both of them. 
Nice read right there by me. Boom. Another big play. Feeling really good back to back plays. Just a couple more good plays. I'm in the end zone. Here we go. We go ahead and hit, hit the corner route. Deshaun Jackson makes a big catch from me again. Down to the 14. We're feeling good. Here we go again. We go two drags. Hit this drag over the middle. Sterling Shepard. Down to the six. Now what I'm thinking here, what I'm thinking here is, okay, I just dominated down the field. Like he's on the ropes. So I'm gonna come out in a run formation. Second and two on the six yard line. This is a, I, I, I personally think this is a huge run commit situation. If I, this is the first time on game I've come out in this set. So what I do, I'm gonna call a quick pass here. He doesn't run commit. I see the out route open. I throw it in. Chris Harris takes my money. Takes it all the way back to the crib. Talk about overthinking the situation. Probably just running the ball there, but I didn't. Lost the game. Made a read. I, I mean, I saw the out route was open, but Chris Harris, whether he was in the cloud flag or he was in deep blue or man up, but that's why you draft great corners. They can make plays like that. Good game and journey. You know, like I said, he's a great player. One of the best young players coming up. If you don't already know about him or follow him both on Twitch or on Twitter, make sure you do that. If you like this type of video, please comment, please like, and of course subscribe. I'm trying to go to this. I'm going to bring more and more of these videos for y'all. Gameplay videos from here on out. Thank y'all. Dude!